Welcome back. Our guest on this episode is a Nigerian-born, American-based family nurse practitioner, healthcare and educational activist, television producer, writer, and public speaker who found fame as an actress and model. In 1988, she was crowned Miss Unilag. That same year, she competed in the MBGN 1988 contest. In 1990, Askia Williams represented Nigeria at Miss Cham International, held in Russia, and came second. She also made history by becoming the first Nigerian at Miss International in Japan, where she made an impact with the most outstanding traditional costume. We have brought you different celebrities, Chef, as we come down to the Superstars event happening this Friday in Lagos, Nigeria. And today, we bring you the convener of Superstars, Regina Aska Williams. And we have her beautiful daughter with us also, Tissa Williams. Thank wow, you, you know, I was going to do that myself. Wow, that was a very nice intro, right? Oh my goodness, I feel so good about that. That was a very beautiful intro. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. And thank you for running those interviews with my chefs. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed watching them. Oh okay. my goodness. And uh, that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. you know, I look forward to having all of you at Superstars on I Friday. I want to be there because I love food. Yes. So. <laughs> yes, yes, it's beautiful. Why are you Thank clearing you. your truth? I'm just saying, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, let's start with why did you come up with Superstar? What okay. was the whole idea behind Superstar? What do you want to achieve? Mm -hmm. The purpose of the event? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have been talking on my Saturday online clinic. We have been talking with Dr us about staying healthy, mm -hmm. healthy living, making um, you know, healthy choices. Because health is wealth. Without your health, you're nothing, right? Mm -hmm. You're not a functional member of your society. So every doctor we spoke to told us that the one sure way to healthy you know, state of mind, a healthy state, state of body or whatever, is healthy nutrition, good mm. nutrition. You are simply what you eat. There's no two ways about that. Mm. You eat well, you prevent high blood pressure, you prevent diabetes, you prevent complications of these illnesses like strokes, kidney damage, and all that, you know. So why would you choose to <clears throat> wait until things deteriorate to the point of needing dialysis or to the point of needing a transplant when all you could do was to eat good food, mm -hmm. good healthy food. Now Africa has the largest choices of un, un, unmodified uh, natural foods, right? And um, the rest of the world is looking to us as the last bus stop for foods that have not been genetically modified. Mm -hmm. and. Um, our grandmothers, our forefathers, you know, had the knowledge of how our leaves and herbs could heal us, you know, and this knowledge has passed on with them. We don't know it. It's time that we, you know, reinvestigated, took another look into our foods, took another look into what we put in our bodies, you know, how, how do they help us, in what ways do they contribute to our health. So basically you know, this show is meant to promote is, healthy eating. Yes, to showcase African recipes mm -hmm. and teach people the nutritional values, the health values of our African foods. Is that a secret yeah. to you? Because <coughs> I mean, you're above 50 oh, and I can say I'm intimidated so myself. Much. No, 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 thank you so much. Um, I'm particular about what I eat. Mm -hmm. First of all, I do serious portion control, right? Um, I don't eat much. Just eat a little bit until I feel full. Just, you know, half of half of half, you know, just mm -hmm. continue like that until you get into your right weight bracket. You know, I don't eat much, but I'm very particular about what I eat. Seafoods, veg vegetables, and, you know, things like that. If I'm eating Gary and soup, <laughs> I confess I eat Gary and soup, but I'm not going to fall into it, you know, mm -hmm. just a little bit and I'm good. Okay. Right? Right? <laughs> that, that right sounded like you're bullying her to you, like a threat. No, she, she's right about and that's what many people don't realize, especially mm -hmm. most ladies who are at the gym trying to achieve some kind of body Shake weight me. and shape. <laughs> like, I mean, it's it's 75% what you eat. Exactly. So it's not about the weight, it's not about the, the squats and all of those things, 75% what you eat. And she rightly says something. Little portions of those things. Yes. You can't completely stay away from those things. No, you can't. But it's all about the portions in which you, you have them. Can I take you back? I yes. just want to take you back. Sorry, before you, know, you take her back, yeah. <laughs> Tisa, Tisa, let us know if she's following this full step or you just eat what you want to eat. I mean, we're still young, you know. Please, I eat what you 
I try to set a good example. Mm -hmm. I try to keep Tisa away from McDonald's, mm -hmm. but then it's not working. It's not working for right now, but she will learn because I mean, when I was little, mm -hmm. I hated vegetables. I hated yeah. anything that was healthy, you know. But my mother insisted on serving those foods, mm -hmm. so we learn about them and mm -hmm. we knew about them. My mother and my grandmother. My grandmother was one that had a leaf for every ailment, from skin to malaria to everything, mm -hmm. she had something. And usually they would be at loggerheads with my mom because my mom was more like westernized mm -hmm. and my grandmother was very traditional. So they met in the middle somewhere and I got to see a lot, you know, and learn a lot. Okay, oh, great. I mean, I must say you look great for your age. Thank not, you. Not many, not many women Nigerian look, look this many. good at that age. At age what age? Right Everybody's now. talking like I'm a at dinosaur. Should I, should I say your age? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm plus no, but, one. But okay. Every yeah. year I'm plus one. But you know, you look good. Now, Thank this is, you. Let me take you back to 1988 when you won Miss Unilag and 89 yes. when you won the most beautiful girl in Nigeria. Yes. How, how aware, how much aware were you of yourself then, those years? And if you were to say something to the Regina of 88 and 89, what would that be if you were to give out an advice right now? What would that be? I would say, Regina, please relax, <laughs> relax. You don't have to be so hot-headed, you know? I was hot-headed and sassy. Couldn't tell me nothing. You were hot. Not tell me nothing. I knew I was hot and I rocked it in. Yeah. <laughs> I would say to myself, calm down, right? Um, looking back at who I was, I think she was one brave chick. One very brave chick. Could have been a, a little cooler, you know, a little softer in approach yeah. mm -hmm. because I was brutally, you know, honest. I said everything. But my mother told me, you could say your truth, but do it tactfully. There's something mm -hmm. called tact, you know. Your truth does not have to wound, slash, and burn, no. Mm -hmm. Deliver it like in a sandwich. We, um, she said, compliment. Say what you have to say and compliment again. Mm -hmm. You know, sandwich, de deliver your bits of yeah. truth in sandwiches that people can, you know, accept and, and handle. If you go cutting people down because you're being brutally honest, nobody wants to, you know, have anything to do with you. Mm -hmm. You know, and I see so many of the young people, you know, today remind me of who I used to be mm -hmm. in terms of being hot-headed. King Tonto, I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, She's on the show, and, too, And she right? better listen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's such a sweetheart, yeah. Um, I just wish you would be a little tempered, mm. you know, so it's do you, beautiful. Do you think you you would be better for it now? I mean, you're good, right? But do you think mm -hmm. life would be better if you listened at uh, the time? Uh, okay. Um, let me say that everybody is on a different journey, mm -hmm. you know. What my, what my travels or what my journey took me through uh, were lessons that I needed to learn. If I had made myself different because I was listening to this and listening to that, maybe I would not be who I am today. Okay. So uh, I think that whatever experiences you have, that is life trying to teach you the lessons you need to learn, you know. So we should um, be open, you know, and um, accept criticism. You know, people talk to you. Sometimes it goes in here and goes out there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, your heart says, listen, you know, and then you advise yourself and take it from there. Mm. Yeah. So I'm not gonna tell people do this, do that, do this. No, you wear the shoes. You know where it hurts. So you know how to navigate yourself. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to bring us back to superstars. Yeah, back to superstars. Let's go back, back to superstars. Superstar because I know she wants to talk about the law. But why mm -hmm. did you leave Nollywood? Because there are just opinions, uh -huh. rumors. Uh -huh. We can't hold them to say this is why you left. But why did you leave? It, you know, there's so many reasons. Like I said, you know, your journey, your life takes you through lessons and experiences you must have. Mm -hmm. The only important thing in this world, right, is to make a difference. Leave this world a little better than you found it, mm -hmm. right? For some of us, that is a major calling. For others, it, it doesn't really matter. For somebody like me, I felt I needed to make an impact in very hands-on ways, right? Nollywood makes an impact, like people watch you, they learn about your story, they learn about your culture and tradition, but how do I personally, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, how do I make it better for you, mm. you know? If I'm able to do that to one, two, three, four, five people, 
it gives me so much joy, right? Mm -hmm. And being in the hospital, being able to nurse somebody back from the brink, you know, restore them to a functional level of health, this gives me so much fulfillment, right? I love to do that. Don't forget, I started out in biology at the University of Lagos. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I continue, continuing in nursing was a natural progression, you know. But nursing does not have the glamour, the, you know, razzmatazz that comes with, uh, you know, and people maybe somehow feel that you should be in that position. They like to see you like that. They like to see you all fly and everything. At a point when you're with yourself, you must be able to answer the question. If your life were to end today, would you be happy with how you have contributed to the world? Would you be happy with you know, how you have impacted the spheres around you? Would you die happy? Mm, yeah. It was about impacting. Impacting, touching lives in okay. real ways. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I want to talk about celebrities. I mean, you brought mm -hmm. a lot of celebrities mm -hmm. on the show. Tonto, Aya, Desoya, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Why did you pick them? Is there a particular reason why you decided to pick every one of them, or you just? Okay. Felt, let me call my friends. All right. So my name is Regina Williams, not Regina Rockefeller. Okay. Mm. So I don't have that kind of money. All right. So I said to the celebrities, listen, people, I'm back. Okay. And I need your help. You know, I need your support. I see that your fees have skyrocketed. If we were go, to go through your management and your official whatever, nobody's going to work with me. Mm. So is there anybody that wants to help me put this thing out there? You know, because... It's, it's beautiful to be an icon, mm. but it's also beautiful to let your life be an inspiration, mm. right? Help people, right? Showcase our chefs, put them out there so that people will see what they are struggling to do and support them, right? So in sending out the message of healthy nutrition, who, were, who, was the, um, who would be the best group to work with? The chefs, right? Yeah. And the chefs are struggling to promote businesses and their business is feeding the nation, right? Who's gonna want to come and watch a chef cook? Nobody. But if you put the celebrities there, mm. right, everybody's going to want to see what is happening and right. come out and support them. This is why I got the celebrities so that they will add, you know, color and and that's what has. Yeah, some of them. them are pretty excited about it. And I'm yeah, happy. Got people that really want to people. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, you see. So some of those people are my people, right or die, mm. you know. So they did not really bother about my not being able to chuck up their fees. You know, they contributed their time and came out to help. And then I listened to people talk about prizes. <laughs> yeah, I was going there, actually. Uh, it, it's kind of off to talk about money on, um, on TV. But then again, it's very important to me that everybody that participates in Superstars has something tangible to add to their business, to promote their business this Christmas season, right? So every chef that is going to compete will have something that they can reinvest in their business. Every celebrity will have something that will go back to make up for their time. Mm. And our winner will have a little something. What we really want to give to a winner is showcase them, mm. kitchen equipment and the rest of them, and a little money for their business. Mm. But anybody that is participating in Superstars is going to you know, live happy. Even people that are coming to it, are we? I mean, You're going to live happy, of course. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to live happy, of course. And, you know, we made it like a soft gate, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning that you can come in free. Mm -hmm. But if you want gourmet food, like the foods the celebrities are going to go, you're going to have to pay for that one. Mm -hmm. We have food for, you know, everybody that's, that's coming. You know, but, What time does it start? We have a trade fair from 10 to 12, okay. you know, showcasing the people that support us. Because we didn't really get sponsorship, but we got a lot of supporters that's giving us prizes and things like that. So they'll be showcasing their wares um, in a trade fair from 10 to 12. And then from 12 to um, 8 p.m., we have the major competition. And the first lady of Benway State is going to be there to, awesome. you know, to um, uh, shepherd the event. And okay. we're very excited about that. All right, before we carry on, let's just take a look at the promo. Shagun Arinze, King Tonto DK, Monalisa Tinda, Ani Idibia, Angela Okori, Alex Ekubo, Ibn Abon Febrisima, Regina Askia, and many other celebrities and chefs will compete against each other in the first ever celebrity cooking competition. Soup or 
stars. Join us at the biggest street party and trade fair with the best of DJs, comedians, and vendors. Come, taste the glory of Africa in her rich array of traditional food varieties and island cultures. Be our guest as your finest celebrities present you brunch on Soup of Stars. Friday, 6th of December at Grand Autrium on Lekki AP Expressway, 12 noon prompt. Tickets available at CocoBar.com. For inquiries, call Green at 0805 752 1573 or email Stars mail at gmail.com. Superstars, S O U P A S T A R S, mail at gmail.com. This is where you feel, sis. I know. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, let's do it. Everybody, raise your cups. Superstars. Superstars. <laughs> Thank you. I can't wait for Friday. Yes. So thank you. let's hear it from the city horses mouth. Mm -hmm. Where is the venue? What time does it start? Mm -hmm. What do you expect? And what do you want people to take away from this event? Okay. The venue is Grand Atrium. Mm -hmm. Grand Atrium is a big royal looking hall, big yellow hall on the Lekki Ekbe Expressway. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have our posters out there by now and people will be able to see where to go to. Okay. All right, so the event starts from 10 a.m. to 12. This is where we're doing the trade fair, the dance competitions, showcasing prizes that people can win. And then from 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock, our chefs come in, our celebrities arrive. We have celebrity chefs, celebrity judges, and mm -hmm. <laughs> And, and the celebrities that are cooking, right? Okay. Uh, all of them arrive, and then we start the event proper, right? We have the Ayo Masquerade. We have an African opera singer. We have a 13-year-old gospel prodigy, and uh, we have so many people, um, you know, entertaining us. Uh, the first lady, I don't know what time she arrives for security reasons. I don't know, but she is going to grace the occasion. And um, the celebrities start cooking and feeding us, and... Um, we take it from there. So everybody's going to come hungry and leave happy. Mm -hmm. You know, we have Pam Wine, we have Zobo. Great. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're really traditional right here. Mm -hmm. Traditional, yes. Awesome. It's, going, it's going to be fun. Okay. It's going to be lit. So see you there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for thank your time. And you. please, you have thank today you. for nothing else for the Pam Wine. Trust me. It's yes. It's so heavily. Yes. Yes. I'm coming for the seafood. Yeah. Oh, from Calabar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank Thank you for Thank watching. You. Remember, you Thank can you join us. the conversation or remember to catch up on this episode on our YouTube channel, La Plus TV Africa. You can also watch the time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ewaluwa Witsu, Benny Ak, and of course our guest, Regina Askia Williams and Tisa Williams. She said almost nothing. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.